Like, it's not fat phobia, it's just who I am. I can't help it. But I think it's actually a lot more complicated than that. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Now this video comes from a TikToker called More Than Tracy T. But I'll leave the YouTube video in the description below. And it's titled, Having a Preference for Dating Thin People is Fat Phobic. So I'm guessing in this video, this woman here is claiming that dating preference, you know, having a preference to not want to date fat women is fat phobic. You know, with all the, the phobia and the isms and all that being thrown around these days, I feel like this is a perfect video to cover right here on this channel. So we're about to get into it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe while we're watching. Now let's see what she's talking about. Let's talk about dating preferences. This video was so good, you must watch it, and I want to branch off and talk about how it relates to fat phobia and dating. A lot of times when people are asked, why don't you date fat people, trans people, people of color, whatever, they will say, it's just a preference. I'm just not attracted to them. I can't make myself be attracted to someone I'm just not attracted to. The implication here being that preferences are innate, unchanging, and completely independent of any outside factors or societal norms. And therefore, that they are inherently unproblematic. Like, it's not fat phobia, it's just who I am. I can't help it. But I think it's... She could have just stopped right there and I wouldn't have had a problem with her video. <laughs> but something tells me she's about to get into something that's about to give me something to say. But I think it's actually a lot more complicated than that. Our desires are not immune to social conditioning. Although, of course, you can't change your sexual orientation. When we see a certain type of body glorified, praised, and labeled as desirable in media from the time that we can even process those messages, it's not going to not have an impact on us. And the fact is, at least anecdotally, lots of fat people report being desired by many people. But the piece that isn't there is the social acceptance. And again, that's also true for other marginalized identities. Maybe you are sexually attracted to fat people, but you can't see yourself in a romantic relationship with one because you've never seen that replicated in media. Or maybe you love a fat person, but you're too afraid of what your friends and family would say if you introduced them. Or you're too afraid of what it would say about you to be with someone who is lower on the desirability totem pole. Okay, so that was that. Was that. Now, <clears throat> you heard that, you seen that, you heard that. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and say, right, that having a preference is not fat phobic. I have a problem. I have a problem with, with the whole phobia, with the phobia argument as it stands anyways. Pho uh, having a phobia of something means you're scared of it. I've seen, I, I don't know what I was watching, uh, what react, what show, what talk show I was watching, but they brought on people who have phobias. It was a few ladies. One was scared of pennies. One was scared of fish, goldfish. And I mean, f uh, like frightened, afraid, like she, they would see a penny. This lady would see a penny and run out, run out the room. That is a true phobia. Fat phobia, transphobia, you know, all these phobias, these new made up phobias, nobody's really that scared. Nobody has that level of fear when, when you're talking about fat people or trans people. But there's nothing wrong with having a preference in who you want to date. Now, this lady, this woman here, she looks like a heavy set woman herself. So, you know, she might she not might. She, I'm pretty sure she's experiencing what it's like to date as um, as a, as a fat or overweight over uh, overweight or obese woman and so if she was able to shape the narrative that fat be um that um having a preference on dating fat women is fat phobic it would benefit her because more men would more men would come around and say you know what no it's fat phobic to 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 um to turn down fat women so i'll accept them that would help her chances in dating but the reality is that men men do desire thinner women thinner women uh, on average to date <clears throat> like she said you know they might have fun with with the with the plus size the oversized uh the over overweight women but to date men like men like in general thinner women and this for is for many re is for many reasons aesthetically you know you got to think about when when uh when your wife your lady has a girl has a, um has a, a kid she's gonna get bigger if she's already if she's already big then that'll be a problem. The health benefits, um, the health benefits, and and also lifestyle that someone probably lives if they're a heavy set person. So there's there's a lot of reasons why why you might have a preference to not want to date someone who's overweight. And this could be men or women. You know, the the video the video in question is 
a woman. Of course, you can't change your. But it could be it could be either way. But you know, there's no there's no problem with not wanting to date a fat person. You know, um, it's you know we she like I said it would it would be great for her if if it was a problem. But there's no problem. Um, yeah, so I, I wish her the best, but um, she can go on somewhere with this because it's it's BS. All right, let me know what you felt about that in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe on the videos. We debunking the nonsense day by day. Um, yeah, till next time, I'm out, you guys. Peace.